Ninja. <laughs> He's going Lucina. Maybe inspired. And Mage plays Inkling. Okay. Of course, uh, Rosa, not not the greatest treatment in this game. So, you know, you can always switch to another character if things don't go your way. Okay, it is Juice. All right. Yeah, Juice and Mage. Let's see how this goes down, everybody. We're two for two on uh, Lucina's on stream. So... <laughs> Right, if you wanted to see more of Lucina, well, it's kind of like one of those things you want to like understand as the meta characters as well. When you're when you're coming off the locals, it's like, hey, what's being played in the meta, right? You got Lucina, you got Wolf, you got Pichu, you got some Inkling here and there, right? That's just also your job to practice those matchups. Yep. Great parry, of course. Lucina's jab, not too much timing uh, restrictions on that, so Major's able to get the prediction on that timing. And again, the prediction on usually people parry those aerials because on the sword characters there's a specific timing mm -hmm. for it, but Major's just taking these to the bank with the parries on the grounded moves too. That's gonna be a roller. Goes nice, into the up smash. smash. Not gonna kill, but gets the percent here in Mage. We kind of get the whole stage with himself to work with. Gets a full jab into the ink. Now setting up the edge guard phase here. And I like the fact that he sets the splat bomb there because in that situation, if Juice had gone for a neutral kill, he would have gotten hit by the splat. If he didn't go for it, Mage could have gone for a forward air. So he kind of had all like one in five options covered at least. Mm -hmm. I think the best option might have been just to stay at the ledge and maybe try to tag the neutral get up, but that's not quite going to work. Under those pressure situations, it's always difficult. Wow, and oh. unfortunate. The SD as well. I like the idea that Mage is trying to do, though. Put the ink roller ink over on the ledge just to slow down his options. And okay, here we go. Got the forward smash at the ledge. Juice trying to keep himself in here. Yeah, I mean, as long as the sticks are in your hands, you definitely never want to give up. And the out of shield option for Mage is going to be the grab. Puts him off the stage, puts the splat bomb in the play, and I like the fact that he still reads the roll get up because he knows the panic option from Juice because he does have the advantage here. Yeah, nice stuff from Mage using that landing there into the grab just to be able to set up into a nice little combo there. Already getting 106% onto Juice. Ooh, so close to that shield breaker, but a little bit no dice, no cigar. Yeah. Gets that roller into the all. I would have loved to have seen the forward smash. It wouldn't have killed, but. I feel like it's much better than trying to send your opponent up and to reset the edge guard phase, but I was smash the second attempt, we'll do it. That's what I kind of like to see from some Inkling players. Right? Like, I get the up smash and kill a little bit earlier, but sometimes when you reset the edge guard phase, because the last time we saw when he was at this percent, it did not kill. Mm -hmm. So I would rather have the edge guard phase rather than the whole stage to try to read a landing option. Right. Okay, so Juice, a little unfortunate, but I feel like Mage still had control of that match altogether. All right, sw switching it up. I. Don't think it was the character, really, but you know what? If Juice wants to roll with it, then he, we're going to go ahead and roll with it, too. So going Ike this time around. All right, well, let's go next stage. Ike. Uh, real big shout-outs to Izaw. If you guys don't know who Izaw is, the Link main, Link Discord hero. Pretty good guy. He did put out the, uh, the art of Ike. You should definitely check that out as well. Uh, and pretty much giving you a quick Ike primer and really understanding how the character works. Ike's name of the game here, Spacing. But we can't really space when you can like that in that forest match. That's what I kind of want to see for Mage, right? Go for the immediately kill. If it doesn't kill, he's got the edge guard phase in setup. Mm -hmm. Okay, another landing there. Okay, looks like Mage has a pretty good control. I feel like it's been a while since I've just seen Mage play in general. So glad to see that the new main is working out for him. Yeah. I feel like Mage was in, the Mage is definitely one of those hidden bosses in Smash 4. But now he's going to have to restart himself. And it's all about the mental game, really. Like, I know I have to start over. So what, do I, what did I do in the beginning of Smash 4 that I have to do now in Ultimate to start reapplying myself to get back to the level I was? Okay, there we go. Finally gets that landing neutral air to be able to start off that combo. But getting put off stage yet again. Mage, again, just the control that he exerts. Just from Oof. inkling speed, it makes it difficult for Ike really to do what he wants. Mm -hmm. Because there are those little micro moments where you can go right outside of the range of that neutral air and then burst in because inkling has the speed to do it. Exactly. Gets the smash, mage, trying to get the read, but he doesn't get the read on the landing here, but he gets the parry on the neutral air. That's kind of one of those options you have to understand when I get the air on you, especially when he hits your shield. You're going to have to either go for the parry or immediately try to get out of these, out of the way because if not, you will suffer another neutral air or another one of Ike's follow-ups. Okay, Mage looking like he's just trying to mix up how he gets the kill. It's not quite working out, and I think Juice is starting to get the hang of it. And he's noticing, okay, he's going for these a little bit riskier options this time around, trying to take off the stock. But my Ike is not dying yet, so let me go ahead and get the opportunity and the damage while the opportunity is there. Yeah, 152 gets the down tilt. I would have loved to have seen the forward air down tilt to up air is the much better option, especially with the platform extensions. All right, gets the roller, waiting for it, and he gets the forward smash again. 
I feel like he kind of stayed in the area. I'm like, let me see you mash. I want, I want you to suffer for a hot second and try to mash out. And give you a false sense of hope. Okay, double up air. Yeah, bad option from Juice trying to get out of there with the landing down air. Inkling's air to airs are very strong if they're in range for it. What Ike is going to win in is the, the range instead. But if he's already in your space, then it's difficult for Inkling. Uh, or excuse me, it's difficult for Ike to match up against Inkling's speed. I feel like the way that Juice is playing is he's buffering the neutral airs. Oh, but he gets neutral into the up, up air and immediately tying it up in terms of stock with not percent mage 86. If anybody's got some homework to turn in, it's definitely going to be Juice. But hopefully, he can turn in before the deadline is due. Gets another up air. Mage suffering here at the landing situation, but he's finally getting on the platform. Yep, and that uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 bracket round, just going ahead and remind everyone that yes, Mage is in the lead right now. Inkling. Oh! Touched the ledge too long, my friend. You will lose the invincibility over time. Yep, especially when you're at a higher percent, that will definitely happen. Slow down Ike, I like it. Just to make sure it keeps him in the air, consolidates his options into nice. a couple. But that doesn't matter. The Nair to upper almost gets it. He tries to get the out smash. A little bit risky there. Put him off stage one more time. What's he going to go for? He gets the up air. Reads the jump of him trying to go in. Great option there with the down throw instead of the forward throw. throw. Yeah, because you look at those two situations, right? Mage had juice at the percentage where... If he reads the jump, if he gets the call out on Juice's option, he will get the up air, and at that percent, it will definitely kill. Versus resetting the neutral, the edge guard phase. I'm sorry, the ledge, the ledge trap phase here. That's kind of one thing you have to factor when you're going ahead and maining a character like Inkling. Do I want to 